from Acadiana, your local news leader. This is Paz Pa 2. Good morning, everyone. It's Saturday, August 28th. I'm Renee Allen. Thanks for joining us. All eyes are on Hurricane Ida. That takes us to meteorologist Trevor Sonye over in the Weather Center. And Trevor, any changes we should quickly know about this morning? Well, it's still a Category 1 storm, but it looks like it will be intensifying for today. It moved over Cuba yesterday and it sort of disrupted the circulation a bit, but it looks like it will be gaining steam through the afternoon hours. Let's take a look at the latest numbers. These are the numbers as of the uh, 4 a.m. advisory. 80 mile per hour winds moving off to the north and west at 16 miles per hour and a pressure of 987 millibars. Here's the latest track from the National Hurricane Center bringing a Category 4 hurricane into Louisiana. It looks like Sunday afternoon and Sunday evening. Right now, landfall location right around Terrible Parish, but it could be a little further west across St. Mary, or it could be a little further east. 20 miles here could definitely make the difference. Still a category two as it moves off to the north, just at the east of Lafayette. Looks like it could move somewhere across the basin. So unfortunately, that puts the eastern parts of Acadiana in that western eye wall, and that's where we could see some of those strongest winds. Hurricane warning is in effect basically from uh, Evangeline, Acadia, and Vermilion on eastward, and then a, a, a tropical storm warning further off to the west across the Lake Charles area. Tropical storm force wind probability. This is the probability of seeing a tropical storm force wind gust, of course, exceeding 40 miles per hour. The purple area, 90 to 100 percent. And these are hurricane force wind probabilities. To have a hurricane wind, you need winds in excess of 73 miles per hour. And notice around a 40 to 50 percent chance from Opelousas, Lafayette, Abbeville, and Intracoastal City on eastward. And those chances rapidly increase further off to the south and east across Iberia and St. Mary parishes. Here's the latest GFS model. It gives us an idea of what we can see in terms of wind gusts. And notice across uh, the heart of Acadiana, 60 to 80 mile per hour wind gusts could be likely and of course across the southeastern portions of Acadiana namely Iberia and St. Mary could be seeing wind gusts approaching 100 miles per hour of course we'll have more updates coming up in Maine weather back over to UNA with more news updates all right thank you very much for that Trevor and to stay up to date on weather conditions in your area and you can download the Gale of Y weather app by scanning the code you see on your screen there. You can also get it through Google Play or the Apple App Store.